in this video we're going to be doing matrix multiplication. Uh, we're going to go ahead 2, 3, 0, negative 4 on one matrix and on the other matrix is 4, negative 2, 3 and 1. This is a 2 by 2 matrix same as here a 2 by 2 matrix. We have 2 rows here and we have 2 columns going this way. Okay? The only way you're going to find out if you're able to multiply these matrices is when you go ahead, you're going to go ahead and circle this number here, which is going to be your columns for the first matrix and the rows in this and the second matrix. Okay? If they're both numbers are the same, you can go ahead and multiply the matrix. If for some reason here you have a 3 and here you have a 2 or you have a 1 and a 3, you're not going to be able to multiply the matrix, so it's going to be an undefined matrix. Okay. Now, once you find out, oh, it's 2 and 2, I can go ahead and multiply the matrix. Your next question is going to be, okay, the matrix is going to be a what? Okay. So, for you to find out if it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix, a 3 by 2 matrix, is you're going to go ahead and take this number with this number, and that's what your matrix is going to be at the end. Here you have a 2, and here you're going to have another 2. So here you're going to know that at the end, when you get your answer and you simplify your answer, you're going to have a 2 by 2 matrix as well. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and start on how to multiply, and what numbers are we going to multiply to get those answers. So we can go ahead and multiply and the way we start is by multiplying this here first by this here okay and I'm gonna try to show you guys two different ways ways where I can show you what the markers different colors to make it a little bit easier for you guys and then what numbers you can go ahead and stick without using color pencils uh, color markers or get confused so in this example, we're going to go ahead and start our multiplication for our 2 by 2 matrix, okay? So we're going to go ahead and multiply 2 times 4, but we're also going to add 3 times 3, and that's just going to give us one corner of the matrix, okay? And then on the other one, we're going to go ahead and go to the next row and multiply also this here by this one here. And that right there is going to go ahead and give us this corner here. So we're going to multiply 2 times negative 2 plus... 3 times 1 to give us this corner ahead. Now on the bottoms, we're going to go ahead and multiply this first. Then we're going to multiply the same way by here first to get this side of the corner. And then we're going to multiply this times this here to get the other corner. Okay, so we're going to go ahead multiply that so we're gonna go 0 times 4 it's gonna be 0 times 4 plus negative 4 times 3 and then we're gonna go ahead now and multiply this 0 negative 4 and this side of the matrix here to get this corner right here So now we're going to go ahead and multiply 0 times negative 2. We're going to go 0 times negative 2 plus negative 4 times 1. Negative 4 times 1. Okay. After we do that, we're just going to go ahead and simplify and add all the numbers. So we do 2 times 4 is going to be. 8, 8 
plus 3 times 3 is 9. We do 2 times negative 2 is going to be negative 4. Plus 3 times 1 is 3. Then we have 0 times 4 is 0. Plus negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then we go ahead and multiply 0 times negative 2 which is 0. Plus negative 4 times 1 is going to be negative 4. Okay. Then we go ahead and just add the numbers so we can put them in the matrix. So we have 8 plus 9 is going to be 17 in this corner. We go on the bottom 0 plus negative 12 is negative 12. And now we have negative 4 plus 3 is going to be negative 1. And now we have 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. So that's how we came to get our answer to this problem. Okay, now I'm just going to go back and try to go and show you guys how I did it. And maybe an easier way to explain it to get, make it easier for you guys. So you go ahead, remember I said you multiply this times this and then multiply this times this okay so we went ahead and do 2 times 4 which we have here and then we do 3 times 3 which we have here we add that up and that's going to give us 17 we went ahead and do the same thing for this side of the code we go up multiply this by this here so we went ahead and say 2 times negative 2 is here and then 3 times 1 which is here and that's how we got negative 1 here now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing and multiply this by this to get this corner. So we went ahead and say 0 times 4 plus negative 4, negative 4 times 3, which we have here. And that's how we got to negative 12. Then on the last one, for the last corner, we went 0 and negative 4 times negative 2 and 1. So we went 0 times negative 2, which we got here. And then we went ahead and say plus negative 4 times 1, which we got negative 4, and that's how we got negative 4. In this video, we have 5 and negative 2 in one of the matrix, and then the other one, we have negative 4 and 3. On the first matrix, we have a 2 by 1 matrix, which is two, row, two rows and just one column. Here we have one row and then one and two columns. So we're going to go ahead and check on the rule to see if we're able to multiply these matrices. Okay, so the rule is to go ahead and check the second number from the first matrix and the first numbers from the second matrix. So right there, you see it's a same number, it's one and one. So now you're going to go ahead and see, okay, what kind of matrix it's going to be now. Okay, that's your second step you're going to do. You're going to check which, so like I said, you're going to go on the first number of the first matrix and the second number of the second matrix, okay? So you have a 2 and a 2. So that means that your matrix is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix at the end when we simplify this matrix. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start our, our matrices. So we're going to go ahead and multiply our negative 5, multiply that, then we're going to multiply my negative, first, negative 4 first, and then we're going to go ahead and multiply by the 3 to go ahead and get our matrix. So we're going to go ahead and multiply first 5 and negative 4. So we're going to do 5 times negative 4. And on the other one, we're going to go ahead and multiply still 5 and 3. And then we're going to go ahead, same thing, we're going to go ahead multiply negative 2 now by negative 4 and negative 3. 
So we're going to go ahead and multiply negative 2 times negative 4 first. Negative 2 times negative 4. And then we're going to multiply negative 2 times 3 to get the other corner of the matrix. Okay. We're going to go ahead and multiply that. So we get 5 times negative 4 and negative times positive and negative, negative 20. 5 times 3 is 15. And negative 2 times negative 2 and negative times negative is a positive 8. Negative times positive is being negative. 2 times 3 is 6. So our matrix is going to be negative 20, 8 here, 15, and negative 6. On the first matrix, we have a 3 by 2 matrix because we have 3 rows and we have 2 columns. On the second matrix, we have a 2 by 2 because we have 2 rows going up and down and side to side, which is your columns, okay? So in this way, we're going to check if you can multiply this matrix, okay? So we're going to do the same thing and look at the second number, the first matrix, and the first number in the second matrix, okay? So we have two identical numbers, which is 2 and 2. So that means that we could multiply this matrix, okay? Now the next step is to find out if what kind of what matrix is going to be. So here we have a 3 and then we have here a 2. So that means that when we get our answer we're going to have a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay. So now when we start multiplying we're going to go ahead and start multiplying and we're going to multiply this numbers here by this numbers here first okay so now that we know this is going to be a 3 by 2 matrix we can go ahead and start I'm writing it down how are we going to start solving it so we're going to go ahead and start multiplying 0 times negative 5 so multiply plus 3 times negative 2 okay now we're going to go ahead and multiply this times this to be able to get this corner of the matrix so we're going to go ahead multiply first 0 times 3 plus 3 times 3 times negative 3 okay now we're going to be looking at our second column so we're going to go ahead and multiply this number now times this here to get our second column so first number so we're going to go ahead and multiply negative 2 times negative 5 plus 1 times negative 2. Okay. Now we're going to go and get our other side here. So we're still going to multiply this number times this number. So we're going to go ahead and multiply negative 2 times 3 plus 1 times negative 3. Now to get our final columns here, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the last one here times this right here. And we'll multiply that again. It's going to give us the corner here. So we're going to go with negative 6 times negative 5. So we're going to go negative 6 times negative 5 plus 4 times negative 2. 4 times negative 2. 
Now we're going to go ahead and multiply this by the last one here to get this corner of the matrix. Okay. So we're going to go ahead negative 6 times 3 plus 4 times negative 3. And we're going to go ahead and solve that now and simplify. That way you can go ahead and get your answer. After you multiply this and add all that, you should be getting your answer. I went ahead and did it. So when I multiply and added this, I got negative 6. When I multiply and added these, I got 8. When I multiply and added this, I got 22. When I multiply this and added this, I got negative 9. When I multiply and added this, I got negative 9. And when I multiply and added, I got negative 30. So you go ahead and write your answer you should be writing as negative 6, 8, 22, and negative 9, negative 9, and negative 30.